the late night grocery run. Egg whites, eggs, pancake mix. We salute these. Voiceover done Saturday evening. Triggering third floor, empty room. Always here, and I'm glad it's empty because I can do the voiceover now. So, this workout, my first pull workout in a while, full pull, back and buys, I guess you could say. But uh, we also had to throw in some calves and traps, also. So, not neglecting any muscle groups or making it easier than it would be. It took about an hour and a half to get everything in, but it was really good. So, I um, started with four sets of pull ups and then moved on to my favorite seated row exercise right now, which is just with a straight bar, pretty much a neutral grip. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. But for now, check out the last couple sets of pull-ups because these were really hard, especially at like 215 or almost 220 gym weight, so gains, trying to. Hi right, guys, we're in it with Sebastian. You hey, already know up? him, his boy Joe right here. What's up, guys? And we're just quickly going to finish up pull-ups here. I'm gonna try underhand, underhand pull-ups for the first time in forever. The reason I don't do them is because when I curl a bar like this, I do get tendonitis in my left arm. So I'm thinking from the strength and the ability I've gained to do lat pull downs, maybe I can start working in some chins. So I'm gonna do a couple sets here of dead hang chins and see if I even can do them. So, you got me, bro? Here. You just get me from straight on and see how it looks. Got it. I have no faith in my ability to do this right now at all. It's just so hard. That's good, come on. Explode. Feels weird. That's good. I'll try, I'll try a set like that. God, it hurts. That looks good when you do it. Looks like he's good for 10. I'm mad. Get it, bro. Up. Okay, so here we are at the seated row. Again, I don't know if I mentioned it in the intro voiceover, but this is gonna be like five or six minutes of training. But a full pull workout with three people definitely was a lot of volume. It felt really good though, so everything was three to four sets. Most things we did three sets because after like going to failure two times in those three sets, the fourth one just really seems like counterproductive. So I don't know how a lot of people do four straight sets for like four exercises, but your first couple of sets must be so weak as far as output if you can still do four straight set or like a fourth straight set. So I understand for strength training when you're doing triples and things like that, when you're going eight to 12 reps, I just don't see the need for doing so many straight sets. I like to increase the weight and go to failure at least once or twice, at least with the style of training. So we'll see, maybe it'll be hard to recover from, maybe not. But uh, two exercises for the lats, I guess you could say the pull, the pull ups, the rows, did some trap work and then did rear delts. So you can never do too many rear delt movements as long as you're doing them correctly. It's great for your shoulder health and shoulder strength, for your rowing strength, for your shoulder position on any exercise, pressing, pulling, overhead stuff. So rear delts are good. I don't do them enough, but I don't neglect them. So I haven't had a problem really. I've been training for 10 years and shoulders, any nagging pain comes and goes very infrequently. So um, yeah, I don't feel like I need more rear delts, but at least two or three times a week's good if you can squeeze it in. So maybe I'll start picking that up with a pull day. I don't see a problem with it. It's kind of when you have full upper body days where getting rear delts in becomes a task because it's just another muscle that you might want to isolate and maybe you just don't have time to or you're just kind of gassed from all the other volume. So it's kind of why after doing just the straight strength training, I'm going to go to more of a bro or split just because I want to do more volume in the gym. Uh, it's kind of some weeks like only going three times in the week. And honestly, for me, I perform better outside of the gym when I'm going like four times a week minimum. So I'm gonna start 
doing what I can with the training and just having a push-pull leg style split, doing legs as often as I feel like probably every six to eight days until I can pick up uh, the volume on that too. So overall, really fun pull workout. Sebastian actually has a new channel that he just started. I'm gonna link it in the description. And you'll be seeing a lot more of him. Hopefully, we'll be able to chill, get some more uh, training footage and footage outside the gym because he just got some pretty cool equipment. So looking forward to it and enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for staying tuned and please like, comment, and share if you did like it. Peace. to eat right now but I feel bad if I didn't show you guys this Fuh, holiday chocolate chip pancakes though it's gonna, it's gonna be epic it's a game weight boys at least I think